My name is Agmohi Ameri Oropato. I have the privilege of serving currently as the president of the Jesuit Conference of Africa and Madagascar. And the Conference of Africa and Madagascar is perhaps one of the youngest in terms of demographics in the Society of Jesus. It comprises seven provinces and two regions. And about 1,600 Jesuits serve with several hundred more collaborators and partners in mission in various ministries and apostolates across Africa and Madagascar. It is a wonderful opportunity for us to welcome again to the continent and to the Conference of Africa and Madagascar, Father Arturo Sosa, the Superior General of the Society of Jesus. It's his second visit so far since he was elected General of the Society in 2016. And so all the Jesuits in Africa and Madagascar, along with our collaborators and partners of, in mission, warmly and heartily welcome Father Sosa back home to Africa. Father Sosa, while he is here, will visit the province of West Africa, which comprises as many as 14 different countries and over 200 Jesuits and many more collaborators and partners in mission. It's got a very vibrant population of Jesuits engaged in several works, notably education, spiritual ministry, and the formation of arts. From West Africa, Father Sosa will go to Central Africa province, which comprises Angola and the Democratic Republic of Congo. ACE, as we call the province for short, is the largest in terms of number and also in terms of history, the oldest, as well as the province that has the most number of apostolates and ministries and works. And so between the two of them, West Africa and Central Africa, Father Sosa would get a taste of the vibrancy, of the energy, and the passion of the Jesuits and their collaborators and partners in mission in Africa and Madagascar. It is also a very timely visit because it is coming just a few months, a couple months, after the announcement of universal apostolic preferences. And these universal apostolic preferences have a particular resonance here in Africa, be it working with the youth, be it promoting the spiritual exercises and, uh, and discernment, or um, caring for our common home, uh, working with the excluded, the marginalized, in our mission of reconciliation and justice. These are preferences that in a very special way touch the fabric of life and society in Africa and therefore carry particular significance for the Jesuits in Africa and Madagascar. Our hope, our desire is that Father Sosa's visit to Africa and Madagascar, this time to West Africa province and to Central Africa province, will be a big boost, will give us the impetus to engage even more passionately in the implementation of these apostolic preferences. We are again delighted to welcome Father Sturo Sosa to Africa and we hope that together with the companions who would accompany him, he would have a wonderful experience of Jesuit life and mission in Africa and Madagascar and that he will be treated, we assure you that he will be treated to the warm hospitality of Africa when he visits West Africa and when he visits Central Africa. And so joining with the Jesuits of Africa and Madagascar, especially the provincials of West Africa, Father Hyacinth Lua, and the provincial of Central Africa, Father Jose Menaku, we say, Karibu, welcome, soyez le bienvenu. Thank you very much.